Hey guys, just wanted to uh, kind of give you a chance to practice with entering equations in a way that you will see them on not just this upcoming quiz, but on pretty much every quiz and test from here on in. Um, none of these tools are really earth shattering, but I want to make sure that you know that there's a very simple way to do this and to kind of remind you to not make life harder than it needs to be. Um, so I am in student view in Canvas of the practice skills check. Um, this will be up shortly and you can do it as many times as you want. Um, but I want to go through real quick and show you how to input things and then how to see whether your answer was correct. Since this is a non-graded thing, it, it won't really work the way that you're used to it seeing. So each of the questions in this quiz, and again, most other quizzes and tests after this will be completely open-ended, which means you're going to have to type that reaction in. So for this first quiz, we're still going to tell you and give you keys about what kind of reactions these are. So I'm going to write the synthesis reaction between calcium and oxygen. So you'll notice at this point, we're expecting that you kind of know all of the background things about what does synthesis mean? How do I figure out the states of these different um, elements and later compounds? How do I know whether these equations will actually work? That's all stuff you're going to have to take into consideration. But as far as entering it, it's really straightforward. So um, we're going to take that beginning, calcium and oxygen, and put in the states. Um, the states are coming from the periodic table. You'll see that you've got to remember oxygen is diatomic right from the beginning. So something I want to call your attention to. Right here, we need a subscript, right? We need a 2 to make this oxygen diatomic. Please don't try to go in and use the math formulas and all kinds of crazy. Just use the subscript button. The subscript button is right here in the middle. Just click the subscript button once, put in the 2, and then click it again, and it will turn off. I'm just going to leave my little cursor right there on top of it. So if I click again later, it's just right there. It's already ready to go. Oops, that's a gas. To make the yield arrow, um, the easiest thing to do is to just use the minus sign. So up on your keyboard somewhere next to your zero, you should have the little dash. So we do two dashes and then shift period to get an arrow. Again, you can find one in the FX, that math tool button. It's really not necessarily just do two dashes and an arrow forward to save yourself some time. And then we're going to make our product. So CAO and that is a solid. If you put spaces between right here, I do it because I read it. It seems clearer to me. You don't have to. Lots of people, including AP, squash them right together. It doesn't make any difference about the spaces anywhere. It's personal preference. We won't take off points for spaces. That's just insanity. We will take off points for balancing, though, so we do need to go back and balance. Uh, let's see here. We just need a two right there and a two right there. And then you're finished. You can click out and go on to the next one. Do one more super quick with you, this decomposition one on purpose, um, to just remind you that, yes, I know we talked about that you need that triangle, right, that energy input. Um, and if you were drawing this, you should definitely put it there. But there's not a way to indicate that in a reasonable way in Canvas right now. So we're just going to move on with our lives. It's fine. We're just going to write it, and we're going to know in our heads that the triangle is there, but we're not going to worry about trying to put it in. So we're going to have something like this. So iron to oxide, which is a solid. See, that time I didn't even put spaces. Um, and then double dash and shift period to get that forward arrow. Let's see here. This is going to decompose, so I'm going to have some iron and some oxygen. Again, to get the subscript that I need for that oxygen, I'm just going to come right here to the middle. It's handy dandy because if I point to it, it'll say subscript on it. Click it once to turn it on. Type. Click it once more to turn it off. So let's do that again. I need a subscript, so I'm going to click it once to turn it on. Oops. Click it once to turn it on. I thought I'd already turned it off. And then type and then click in again. And then that's a gas. And then we're going to balance our equation. You're going to balance just using coefficients. Just type, right? And there's nothing special about that. And there we go. So let's show you what this looks like. You also have a single replacement and a double replacement reaction here. Um, you will also need to be able to do this for um, net ionics. Be really careful about what you're being asked. Notice this says write the double replacement reaction. This one does not say anything about net ionic equations and spectators. So just do what you're asked to do. Don't make life harder than it needs to be. 
um, just write the double replacement reaction. You will have additional questions on your quiz that ask you about net ionic equations, complete ionic equations, and spectator ions, uh, but those will be multiple choice, so I just didn't put them on here. All right, so let's see how we get some feedback. We're gonna go ahead and click Submit. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, it's gonna tell you auto grading. It's gonna give you zero points. It's because I would have to go look at them, y'all. I'm not going to look at them. Mr. Lim's not going to look at them. You're going to grade them yourself on your practice quiz. And it looks something like this. Um, if you will click on, let's see here. Where is my feedback button? Let's see here. All right, y'all. So here's the deal. You're not going to be able to see the comments that I wrote unless I go grade it. And I'm not going to do that. So this is what I'm going to do. When I email you this video, I'm going to email you also a link. And I will put it in the keys for everything and post it on Canvas, the answers to these questions and how I would grade them. Um, so this way you're, I mean, I know it's one more click, right? But it, you'll be all right. Um, and you can still go in and put in in this quiz, like practice putting in and answering questions. You'll just have to go grab the Google Doc to check your work. Um, it's okay. We'll make it be a thing. And if one day I figure out how to do this without having to grade them all first so that my comments will just show up, well, then we will switch gears. But today's not going to be that day. All right, y'all, hopefully this is helpful. Um, let me know if you've got questions and I will see you in class today or tomorrow or whenever. Bye.